MB Sloop, do we have a soul? When did we get such? All right. Uh, your question requires a shift of perspective. You never got a soul. You never became immortal. You, ne you never acquired anything. You have always been that. But right now, you are in a sim. You're suffering through a life sim, and your central nervous system has you jacked into the simulacrum, and the restrictive it is so restrictive in your in your uh, sense perceptions that it's got it's got you to believe that 95.4 percent of everything around you doesn't exist because you only see about 4.6 percent of the electromagnetic spectrum. Your olfactory senses are the same, and so is your uh, your audio perception. You don't hear near the range animals here. You don't smell near the range animals smell. Your central nervous system, man, acts as a filter so the simulacrum itself can give you a linear, a linear series of events that you can experience. But it's not really you, it's an avatar. You, you didn't get a soul, you are the soul. You entered in the simulacrum when the central nervous system was advanced enough to be able to jack in your psyche, which is your soul, to this, this apparent physicality. It's not a real physicality because we know our science is now advanced, advanced enough for us to know that everything operates on quantum principles. And if you take any piece of physical matter and put it under an electron microscope and magnify it sufficiently enough, you will find out, find out that it breaks down into many particles. Those particles will break down into atoms. When you look at one of those atoms, you realize that the nearest atom to it is very far away. And there's nothing but empty space between them. But the mystery is even further replicated when you magnify just a single atom all the way down to its nucleus. When you do that, you are left not with, with, with solid state matter, you're left with an oscillating field of pure energy. Taking this into context, that means there's nothing physical in the physical world at all. And 99.99999% of everything is empty spaces, not physical matter. So, it's all a matter of perception. Where do we get these perceptions? They are coded filters that we call the central nervous system. This is what you're dealing with. You're an immortal soul who agreed to come into the simulacrum for the maturity, uh, the maturity growth of a personality to do all these things. We don't have all the answers. We just have a lot of them. Don't know when you decided to do this, but you're an immortal and nothing can make you do something you don't want to do. Now, did something go wrong since a bunch of us volunteered to come in here? Absolutely. And it's also recorded in our traditions that something was introduced and things went haywire and basically the simulacrum became locked down to prevent any cross-contamination with the real universe. So, this is where we're at in archaics. And we, dis we discuss these and I have many vid video uplo uploads that will give you more details about this, this phenomenon and this history. You can chew it all up, spit out the bones. The good thing about it is that no matter what you learn in archaics, you're not going to be taking away any garbage. It's going to expand your consciousness. And it might be two or three years before you come back. But when you do, you will come back probably having naturally made all, all the cognitive leaps you could have made if you had stayed here. Many people leave this channel and come right back. But when they come back, they come back anew when they realize. Because when a matter becomes clear, it ceases to concern us. That's Frederick Nietzsche. And Oliver Wendell Holmes said it best. He said, when the human mind is stretched by a new idea, it can never go back to its original dimensions. This is what happens when people come in contact with new data that they can't disprove, and yet still it resonates highly with them. It's because you're a spiritual being, my friend, that you have empathy, imagination, and intuition. It's not, those aren't human traits. Those are spiritual traits. Those are what separate you from the masses, the living dead, the world full of soulless avatars and NPCs. Yeah, we awakened, we, we are errants, and we are far fewer in number than you think.